Our next guest is an international superstar of comedy. Please welcome back to Lopez tonight, Russell Peters. <laughs> Don't get crazy, don't get crazy. I uh, want to let you guys know I just uh, got married recently. I, um, yeah. I did. I, I did. I packed it in. I now suffer from the one disease I always never wanted to have, Wangina. Um, I didn't know, I haven't known my wife long. Like, we met, like, on New Year's and, and, uh, and you know, we're married now. But I, I, I knew right away that she was the right one because I dated enough retards in my life to know. <laughs> Like when the right chick comes along. You know when you have the wrong chick? Is when you get mad and she gets mad with you. <laughs> like you come home and you're like, I can't believe this just happened. And he'd be like, let's go kick somebody's ass. <laughs> Lose that bitch. She's going to get you thrown in jail. Because I knew my wife was the right one because I came home angry and I was like, I can't believe this just happened. And she was like, babe, it's going to be okay. And I was like, oh my God, it is going to be okay. <laughs> it's like I'm married to the dog whisperer. <laughs> My wife's Latina. She's, um... It's very convenient with this show that my wife's Latina. I, uh... She's Ecuadorian and Honduran. And, uh... Thank God she doesn't have, like, the gigantic Ecuadorian head. You know, the, uh... I've seen some of her relatives, I'm just saying. You know what I mean? She, uh... She, uh... She does have a... Like, a, don't get it wrong. She has a big head, but it's not like... It's not like a two-pillow head. It's like a... It's like a one pillow, but like the whole pillow. You know what I mean? I'm just hoping when we have kids that our kids don't get her head and my nose because that's going to be really messed up. That kid's going to look like a Macy's Day float. Just, you know. So, I think it's cool, though, that, you know, our kids are going to be mixed. They're going to be, you know, half Indian, half Latino. And, uh... You know, they're gonna be hanging out at Home Depot with a calculator, you know? They're gonna be. <laughs> so, how much did you say we can get for the day? <laughs> That's the way the world's going, though, you know? The whole world's mixing uh, pretty soon. I don't wanna scare white folks, but eventually there's not gonna be any more white people. I don't. I don't wanna freak you out because, you know. It's true, the, eventually the whole world's gonna be beige. <laughs> Black people, you're not going to be that black anymore. You're going to be me and George. That's what they're going to look like, you know. Eventually, they're just... What I'm trying to say is, if you have a white person in your life, hang on to them. Because they're collector's items, is all I'm trying to say. But, you know, if the world's going to mix, we should start mixing people now that would never normally mix, you know? Like, hook up with a, a Jamaican with an Italian. They could have little pastafarians, you know? Just get a woman from the Philippines and a guy from Holland. They could have little jalapenos, you know? Just... I'm Indian. What if I hooked up with a Jewish chick? We would have had little Hindus, you know? Just French and a Greek, a freak. Woman from Iceland, a guy from Cuba, little ice cubes. I mean, my wife's pregnant now. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I don't want to, you know, I did. I knocked her up, and um, that wasn't, uh... well, let's be honest, that wasn't hard to do. She's Latina.